We are now joined by Michael Noonan. Um, Mr. Noonan is Minister for Finance of the Republic of Ireland. Thank you for your time and thank you for participating in the St. Gallen Symposium. If I may start with the first question, your plenary session is entitled Does Global Capitalism Provide for the Right Incentives? Hasn't the financial crisis shown that our currently exist existing incentive schemes of Western capitalism motivate people and especially politicians to take too many uncontrollable risks? Well, I think uh, what happens is that uh, when the economies are going badly, uh, incentives are uh, reduced and when economies are going well, incentives, especially through the tax system, uh, are expanded. But we're going through a stage now where uh, the frontline Praetorian Guard of capitalism is always seen to be the bankers and because banks have failed uh, communities uh, since the collapse of Lehman Brothers, uh, there is a, a movement to regulate the banks uh, in a far more rigorous way than previously and there's a movement to take away incentives from banking staff as was seen in the action of the European Parliament on bankers bonuses and in the referendum in Switzerland on bankers bonuses. Okay, thank you. Um, speaking of your work session in which you discuss the topic moving beyond austerity, does Europe need more young people acting innovative and self-reliant and less conformist in order to keep our competitiveness? Yes, I think we do. I think uh, the pace of creativity and inventiveness and the development of patents has accelerated dramatically even in the last 10 years. And I think there must be a social response to that. And I think that each developed country now uh, should have uh, systematic schemes for entrepreneurship to allow young people uh, to experiment with ideas and get into business and found the new era industries which we'll need. Mr. Noonan, one final question. Uh, compared to many other European countries facing a fiscal crisis, Ireland seems to recover much faster. What are the reasons for Ireland's latest strides and what can other countries learn from Ireland's approach to overcome the misery? Well, our crisis was principally due to uh, a property bubble and a banking system which failed. But the fundamentals of the Irish economy were sound. So I believe we started in a better place uh, than other countries that have run into difficulty. As well as that, as well as adopting uh, the program dictated by the European authorities and the IMF, uh, we run a kind of parallel program where we take the economy sector by sector and we do a series of supply side initiatives uh, to develop the sectors. So we have restored the strength of agri-food in Ireland. We're restoring the, f the strength of the tourist industry. We're restoring the strength of the financial services industry. Uh, economies are very complex when you look at them in their totality. But if you break them down into sectors mm -hmm. and you design initiatives to strengthen and grow each sector and create jobs, uh, economies become understandable. And we have run that parallel program and we have been growing now. We're in our third year of growth. Thank you, Mr. Noonan. Thanks, Patrick. Uh, enjoy your time at the St. Gallen Symposium. Thanks Thank very you. Much, Patrick.